Welcome back, gamers. Enforcer5150 here, and we're checking out the new update to No Man's Sky Orbital. So up there somewhere, we do have a uh, space station we need to get to. Um, we had to do some of the little things, and yeah, we made a little generic um, base for now. But uh, yeah, we need to cr create a construction unit. I think it's going to make me do a few of these uh, minor things. And then once we get that done, we're going to go ahead and check out the new um, base stations that they have. Because, you know, I started a whole new game and that's you know, obviously going to take a little time. So uh, let's go ahead and get this done quick. And then I'll uh, come back and update you. All right, so I just went ahead and created my uh, construction unit, and this is going to give us the ability to go into uh, teleportation, well, go into bases and everything else. So we're going to go ahead and create one of these. We need two metal platings, or four metal platings, and two carbon nanotubes, which I think we can make at least the nanotubes right away. We have plenty of carbon. Yeah, we got those. I, but I think plating... Oh, yep. Yeah, we need four of them, though. Oh, yeah, we can do that, too. Awesome. I thought I might have used everything I had. But I guess not. All right, we'll research that billable technology. And we have two salvage data. I actually picked up some uh, before. So there we go. New blueprint learned. And we'll just toss it in here. We have no power in here. So that's going to be kind of a problem. I uh, see your base can be renamed interactive base. I don't really want to rename it. Especially because I gotta go out in the storm for everything. Alright, there we go. EGX1. <laughs> I don't think you can upload it. Oh yeah, you can. I think it's the screenshots. You're not able to take screenshots until after uh, it's so big. Alright, we need to collect a bunch of carbon. Because I guess we're out. And it's still storming out. But it's not too bad. We'll go grab some real quick. Alright, so we can finally make our base teleport. And we can put it anywhere, but there's no electricity, so I don't know how, how well this is going to do anything. It has no power. Alright, so we need to make oh, the biofuel one. Oh, that's so terrible. I think we have to learn a thing first. The um, solar panels is what I pretty much always go with. Either that or I try to get close to a power area. All right, visible technology. And we do not have any salvage data. So we need to go find that stuff. And then once we have that, we can create or put this together. And I think, I just think, that once we have that, we're able to go ahead and get into the uh, next part, uh, which is the base. All right, so we got our salvage data and we just need to go ahead and build this thing. And we need more metal plating. Oh, yeah. And I think we actually going to need the wiring. And it costs zero to get that. Because we need to connect the biofuel reactor to our uh, thing. Oh, we need to... I forgot. We still need the metal plates. Let's see. Where we build that on us. Put it on our persons. Yes. All right, reactor. I'll just set it anywhere. And wiring. You want to connect? Well, I'm not really worried about how we connect. This is, we're not going to use this base for anything else. So, just bam, bam. Let's go ahead and put some stuff in our furnace. A bit of carbon. Charged up. Teleporter, yes! All your bases. We got none. 
All right, that should bring us ahead to where we can actually um, get to a space station. Base computer online. All right, our base computer is back online. New signal received. It's taking a lot to actually get to your base again. I was hoping to do it in one. Yeah, see, here we go. So you're, the base computer archives have reached their end. It seems there's nothing more I will learn from them. The predecessor appears to have left their base and headed to the space station where I want to go. Investigate the space station. Follow the footsteps in the base computer. Ah, ha, ha. All right. Yeah, and now we can see our space station off planet. Awesome. Let's go check this out, finally. We don't have enough fu fuel. <laughs> um, uranium. Uh, no launcher fluid. All right, so we need to make some launcher fluid. Go ahead and charge our launchers and off we go. Perfect. Not that bad of a ship. I mean, we're starting you out with, but you can now change your ship and everything. And that's what I'm kind of interested in. Is like, you're able to actually do a little bit with your ship now and customize it more to how you like. All right, we need to get up a little bit further and then we can uh, pulse over there. Yeah. There's the music. Now we know we're ready. Very cool. Looks like they just did a real big overhaul because everything used to be off to the side here. But everything in the back. See, there's our envoy. What else we got? Exocraft research. Starship research. So yeah, we have pretty much all the same things we had before. The storage container. <laughs> Ensign. Yeah, I don't know any of their language. So, what's over there? Ooh. Okay, so this is where we open. I think this is just a salvage, right? Where to find out? Oh, oh, yeah. Salvage analysis. I wonder if your ship will pop up here now. Yeah. There we go. I got a female figure. <laughs> or just skinnier, at least. Okay, so... Yeah, this isn't bad. I mean, I like the whole overall. They uh, kind of followed what they have for the uh, Atlas, I believe. You can go on top of everything. <laughs> oh man, so we're gonna have to salvage some ships. Yeah, ooh, what's that? Station core. Oh, this. So this is basically the station core you had before that they put in. Can't override or anything. Damn. Let's see. Find life and ask about the mysterious signal. So yeah, we're gonna have to do that quite a bit and then uh, start building some ships and see if we can come up with something decent. I don't think they did anything new on the, uh, ooh, what's this? I don't think they did anything new on the primary parts of the, um, building, such as, you know, like what parts you can make and stuff like that. But I think a lot of the building stuff is, is going to be the same. This whole update is mostly what we're seeing here, this stuff, and then being able to make parts on your ship. Like, I think that's something custom there. 
I never seen anything like that on the right side of it. So one of those type type of ships with solar panels. That's what it looks like. Yeah, those are solar panels for sure. Oh, let's talk to this guy. What up, dude? You can offer on your ship. Um, no, it doesn't ha it doesn't say um, that it's solar powered or anything. <laughs> so it's nice to have something different when you come back to a game like this, and things look different, makes it feel like you know a whole new game and all that. Anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching this video today. Make sure you hit that like button and definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.